great scholars. Welcome to your business studies class, and I still remain your tutor. Today we'll be looking at another interesting topic, still on one of the components of business studies, which is office practice. And today we'll be looking at the topic, office equipment. So by the end of this lesson, you should be able to define office equipment, state the importance of office equipment, then you should be able to list out some office equipment, identify and explain their uses, then mention ways of caring for office equipment. So we'll begin by defining office equipment. As we all know, the world has become a better place through the invention of different equipment. In our homes, in the school, every sector has equipment that they use to do well to facilitate their activities. So how can we define office equipment? Office equipment can be defined as those machines, tools used in the office to facilitate or to assist or improve business activities. This office equipment, they are in form of machines, they are in form of tools used in the office. That's why we call them office equipment. They are used in the office to enhance business activities, to facilitate business activities, to improve business activities. And these office equipment, they are referred to as aids to workers. That means they help, they help workers. They assist them. They, 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 they enhance their activities just the way in your homes Instead of you to use your hands to wash clothes, what do you do? You get a washing machine to assist you in doing that. Instead of you to use either firewood or stove to cook, what do you have? You have your gas cooker to enhance your cooking. Instead of you to use your hands to cut, you use a knife for easy cutting. So also there are some equipment that facilitates activities in the office. And that's why we said they are aids to workers. They are helpers to workers. They assist workers in carrying out their day-to-day -day activities. So what, do, what are the importance of this office equipment? Why is it important for us to have this equipment around us? Number one, office equipment help to improve the quality of work. For example, you cannot compare the kind of work you use your hand to do with the one you use a machine to do. Let's give an example of you giving, being given an assignment to write a letter with your handwriting and you using a computer to type. You will understand that using your hand, some of us will have bad handwriting, the other person might not even be able to read what we have written clearly. But with the use of your computer system, it gives you a better quality of work. Number two, this equipment, they improve speed or performance of work. They improve speed. The work you're supposed to use your bare hands to do for 10 minutes or 30 minutes, the machine or the equipment can help you in doing it within the twinkle of hand. So these equipment are there to improve your speed and also the performance of your work. Number three, they are more accurate. What do we mean by this? If, for example, let's say you are an accountant and there are figures for you to add up. If you are to use just your brain and your pen to add up, you might end up making a mistake. But if you are to use either your computer or a calculator, you will understand with me that the computer or your calculator will give you a more accurate answer. So the equipment are there to give you more accurate answers to your questions. Number four, office equipment save time and labor. They, they help to reduce stress. 
The stress you are, you are supposed to exert on that job, the equipment does it for you. And also, they help you to achieve more within the limited time. So the equipment help in saving time and also labor. That means they help in reducing your effort, your, your, your labor, your strength. They help to reduce the effort you put on work. The fifth importance says they improve uniformity and appearance of printed materials. If, for example now, a task is given to about 10 students to use the computer system for typing, you are given the same font style, the font, the, the, the font uh, size and everything. You will understand with me that at the end of everybody's work, it's going to be what? Uniform. If, for example, we are given an arithmetic to solve, let's say 50 plus 50 or 50 plus 70, you will understand with me that if you use your calculator or your computer, we are all, get, we are all going to get what? Uniform answers. But if we are just to use our mental ability, you see someone giving a different answer from the other person. So these office equipment are there to improve uniformity and also the appearance of printed materials. If, for example, you are to use your hand to write and print out, you will understand with me that you can't get a perfect printout than what the computer is going to print out for you with the use of the printer. Then the last important says they enhance efficiency and effectiveness of workers. Why is this so? The worker now is not stressed. So they are able to do more because there are aids, there are assistance given to them by this equipment around them. So this equipment helps to improve their efficiency and also make them more better, make them more effective in their workplace. So these are the various importance of office equipment. The same way these equipment are useful to us at home, in our kitchens, in our sitting rooms, wherever we find ourselves, these equipment are also important for use in an office for better quality and effectiveness of work. Now let's look at various office equipment that can be found in an establishment. It's not just limited to this. We have so many of them, but we're just going to list this out. The first machine I have, or the first tool I have here is a machine, is a typewriter. We have the photocopier machine. We have the duplicating machine. We have the computer system, popularly used by almost everybody now. We have the scanning machine or the scanner. We have the perforator or the perforating machine. We have the stapler or the stapling machine. We have the calculating machine or the calculator. We have the filing cabinet. We have the shredder and so on. Even our simple, our simple stationaries, they are all what? Office equipment because they are also used by us, either for writing, for ruling, and so others, for erasing. Our simple stationaries are also office equipment equipment. So let's look at the use or the uses of some of this office equipment. The first equipment I have here is a typewriter. So many of us have not even seen the typewriter before because it's more or less now an outdated machine. But let's still know what the typewriter is all about. The typewriter is a machine that enables a typist to reproduce or produce handwritten documents in a neat clear and uniform style. The major use of the typewriter is for typing. The, it has keys that you strike, that is a, that it, it has different parts where you roll in your paper, it has an ink that helps the characters to show on the papers. We have two types of the typewriter, we have the electric typewriter and the manually operated type writers. The next machine or two equipment I have here is the computer system. This computer system now is used almost everywhere in schools, in hospitals, 
even by students now, e-learning and so on. So let's look at what the computer system is all about and what it can be used for. We define a computer system as an electronic machine that accepts, processes, stores, and retrieves information stored when needed. A computer system is an electronic machine. That means it's a machine that is operated electronically. It, it uses the electricity to function. This system or this equipment accepts data, processes data. It can also store your data. Then it brings it out for you as information. It can also store it for you and give it back to you whenever it is needed. And the computer system can be used to do so many things. Number one, in an office, in the school, hospital, government establishment, supermarkets, it can be used for typing of letters and other documents. It can be used for sending and receiving mails, that's letters, using the internet, and uh, we know you, we, we now have different social media platforms used for communication. So we can simply say that the computer system can be used for communication. It's also used for e-learning, like what we are doing now. This wouldn't have been made possible without the use of a computer system. So it can be used for learning electronically or online. It can also be used for saving, saving documents, saving files. It can be used for calculating. It can be used for watching educational movies. It can be used for playing educational games and so on. So you can see that a computer system is very essential. It's one of the most essential equipment needed in every establishment for it to be able to meet up with the modern standard. The next equipment we have here is the photocopier or the photocopying machine. This photocopier is a machine that is used to make several copies of documents or graphic designs. It is used as a machine that uses an ink to produce several copies or designs, pictures of documents. It is used to reproduce documents. It is used to assist us in having multiple copies of documents. And this photocopier machine uses papers of different sizes. We have, it basically uses the A4 paper. We have A5, A3, A4, different paper sizes. So the photocopier machine uses different paper sizes to reproduce copies of documents. And it can give you as many copies as you want. The photocopier machine also varies in size. There are different sizes. We have the small size, big size, and so on. It uses ink to reproduce its documents. Then we have some examples of notable photocopiers in the Nigerian market. We have the IBM, we have 3M, we have Rank Xerox photocopier machine. So these are examples of photocopiers that we have in Nigerian mother market. So you can see that the photocopier machine is a very essential equipment needed in every establishment. If, for example, compare these two activities, if you are to use your hand to write a letter for 20 people, the same copy of letter, you are meant to write it on different papers with your hand for 20 people. Look at the time, the stress, energy it will involve before you'll be able to achieve that task. But if you are to use your photocopier machine to duplicate it, within two minutes you are done. So the photocopier machine is a very essential machine needed in every establishment. Another Equipment we'll be looking at is the calculator or the calculating machine. This one too is also a common but very essential equipment. This is a machine that enables you to carry out arithmetical functions, different arithmetical functions like addition, 
subtraction, multiplication, and division. It is needed by accountants. It is needed by almost everyone. Even students, as a student at the level, you need what? A calculator. We have different sizes of calculators, two basic sizes. We have the standard or the table size calculator. We have the pocket size calculator. So the calculator is very essential, especially for carrying out arithmetical functions. It assists you in getting accurate answers for your arithmetical activities or functions. The next type of equipment we have here is the laminating machine. This machine, work, this machine works together with a computer system. It is a machine that copies or captures images or documents for computer display or editing. It is a machine that is used to send copies of documents or images into the computer system. So all you need to do is get a copy of your documents, open the laminating machine, place it on it. The laminating machine is already connected to your computer system. Once you press the button, it sends the copy of that document automatically to the screen of your monitor. So from there, you can send it through mails to the internet. You can use it to do whatever you want to do. So it reduces the stress of you either retyping a document or retyping a document or reproducing an already printed document. The next office equipment we have here is the duplicating machine. This duplicating machine is closely related to the photocopier machine because they perform almost the same function. But the dupl duplicating machine is a machine that enables the office worker to produce several copies of documents. That is, this duplicating machine can produce more copies than the photocopier machine. That's the reason why I said they do almost the same thing, but the duplicating machine can produce more copies of documents than the photocopier machine. Another name for duplicating is making copies two or more copies of documents. And one special thing about this duplicating machine, which you can be asked in the exam, is it uses what we call a specially coated sheet called a stencil. So you can be asked in the exam, which office equipment uses a specially coated sheet called a stencil? It is the duplicating machine. The duplicating machine uses a stencil for reproducing its documents. We have another office equipment here, which is the printer. The printer also works together. The printer works together with a computer. Once you are done typing on your computer, the work is displayed on your computer monitor, which gives you the soft copy of the document. So for you to be able to have your art copy or produce art copies of documents, a printer is needed. So a printer is a device connected to the computer system used in producing or bringing out hard copies of documents on a piece of paper. Once you are done typing with your, with your computer keyboard, it displays, it shows on your computer monitor, which gives you what is called a soft copy of the document. So for you to have the, the document visible on a piece of paper, you use your printer to do what? To bring it out. The next office equipment we have here is called the perforator. This machine is used for filing is used for filing. A perforator is a machine, a tool, or a device that is used to create two holes on a document for filing. You can see how the machine looks like. So if, for example, you have a file and you don't want to staple the documents together, you just want the files to be kept separate in a file, all you need to do is 
get the paper, create two holes on it with this perforator, then you use a file tag or a rope to join the piece of paper together with the file. So anytime, anytime you need, anytime you need the, the document, all you need to do is you lose out the office tag and you easily, you are able to easily bring out your document. So another name you can give to this perforator is, a, it's called a hole punching machine. So in case you are asked in the exam, that what type of office equipment or machine or device is referred to as a hole punching machine, it is the perforator. It is used to create two holes on a document for filing. Another common office equipment we have here is a stapler or a stapling machine. There are different sizes of this stapling machine. And what is this stapler used for? It is used to join several pages of documents together using what is called a staple pin. You open the machine, there's a, 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 a long place where you place your pins. Once you couple the machine together, put your paper underneath and you press it down. So it joins the paper, different pages of documents together using a pin. So the stapling pins are fixed into the machine. That is what enables the documents to be joined together. Another machine we have here is a shredder. A shredder can be referred to as a cutting machine. This machine is used to destroy documents into tiny pieces that cannot be brought together again. If, for example, maybe there is a document that you don't want any other person to have access to, the document is confidential to you and you feel you are done with the document and you don't want anybody, you know that if you throw it on the floor, somebody might pick it, open it and have access to it. So all you need to do is open the shredder, you throw it inside, once you press the button, it will shred it into pieces, cut it into tiny pieces that cannot be brought together again. So the shredder is also a very important equipment used in an office. We also have the filing cabinet, a very important equipment that helps to keep our office clean, neat, and tidy. File cabinets are used in the office basically to store business documents. The files are arranged in an orderly manner in the cabinets. There are different ways of filing. You can arrange alphabetically, that means based on the name of the file from letters A to Z. You can arrange numerically, you can number the files and arrange them numerically and number each. The first file cabinet might be from number 1 to 20, the next one 21 to 50, as you want it. The same thing with the alphabetic, alphabetical filing. You can make the first cabinet for letters A to J, the next one, K to, K to U, as you want it. So then we also have the geographical filing based on location. If, for example, you receive letters, documents from different sources, different locations, you can arrange the files based on their locations. Then we also have departmental filing based on departments. Maybe you are at the time in your office, you receive documents or letters from different departments and each department is meant to have a file. So you are meant to arrange the files departmentally. So the, the basic need of the file cabinet is for you to store your business documents in an orderly manner and in also a manner where you can easily have access to it, and that is the reason for the filing. So that anytime you are in need of any file or any document, you know where to, you know the drawer or you know the cabinet to open for you to have access to such documents. So the cabinet is, it helps to keep your office neat, clean and tidy. It prevents you just, it prevents you from just scattering files on the floor 
on your tables and all over. It helps to keep your office clean. Let's quickly look at how to care for office equipment. Of course, you know, whatever you don't care for will not do what last. So how can you care for this office equipment so that they can work, so that they can work well for you, so that they can help serve the purpose for which you have acquired or purchased them. The proper care of your office equipment will keep your business running smoothly. That means if you are able to keep your office equipment properly, you are able to take care of them properly, it will make it to last longer and you will be able to use them for what you have purchased them for. So how can this be done? Number one, a good cleaning. Every few months, we keep your keyboard keys from sticking and your equipment from overeating. This now is peculiar to the computer keyboard that does the computer system. This is essential for you. You know your keyboard has different keys. So for you to prevent your keyboard keys from being sticky when you are using them for typing, you are meant to clean them with a soft brush, clean clothes, to bring out all the dust in between the keys so that it can last for a good period of time. Another way to care for our office equipment is proper maintenance checks on equipment to keep them working, to keep them working well, and also detect problems on time. Remember the addict that says a stitch in time saves nine. So you don't wait until the equipment is properly damaged, destroyed, before you do what? You maintain them or before you repair. Once you notice that the, the, uh, an office equipment has shown a sign that something is wrong, you don't wait until it's, it's completely bad before you start looking for ways to repair. Once you are able to detect the problem on time, you work on it. And for you to be able to detect the problem on time, what you need to do is to maintain what is called a regular check. Once in a while, check all these office equipment to make sure that they are still working very well. With that, you are able to detect the problems on time. Another way to care for your office equipment is your computer room must be well ventilated. The one of the things that can damage your computer system on time is overeating. Most times if you notice when you're using either your laptop or your desktop computer, you notice it's very hot. So if your computer room is not well ventilated, that means you don't have enough windows or fans to allow hair, fresh hair to come in and out, it can damage, one of the things that can easily damage your computer system is heat. So your computer room must be well ventilated. Another point is they must be kept away from water to avoid rust. Most of this equipment, if you look at them very well, they are made of metals. So, and one of the things that can make metal, metal, um, metallic uh, substance, metallic equipment to get bad is constant touch of water. So you should be able to keep your office equipment from water, your computer systems, your perforators, all your machines, both the ones manually operated and the one electronically operated, you are meant to keep them away from water to avoid rust. Then the next point says liquid must not pour on them. Most establishments, they don't even allow you drink water or any liquid substance near computer or any other machine because the water, once it spills on it, it can do what? Completely damage the equipment. Then lastly, this one now is peculiar to the photocopier on the duplicating machine. Do not overfill your paper tray. Do not overfill the paper tray. Why is this important? If you, over, if you, if you overfill your paper tray as you are printing or rolling out the papers, the papers, one paper might just clock into the, into the equipment or the machine and prevent it from working well. And it can also damage the equipment. So do not overfill your paper tray. So these are the various ways to take care of your office equipment. Remember, what you don't take care of will not serve you well. And if you don't take care of this equipment properly, 
you might end up wasting money and it will not serve you the way it's meant to. So that's all we have for today's lesson. But before we round up, let's take a quick recap of what we have learned so far. We defined office equipment as machines, tools used by office workers to facilitate business activities. And I also refer to them as age to workers because they help workers in carrying out their activities. They reduce stress, labor, save time, give uniformity of work, accurate work for workers. And we listed so many office equipment, which are the typewriter said is used for producing printed copies of documents. We have the manual or printer typewriter and the electric typewriter. We also looked at the photocopier machine that is used to produce several copies of documents. We looked at the duplicating machine too. I said it's similar to the photocopier machine, but the duplicating machine can produce more copies of documents than the photocopier machine, and it uses a specially coated sheet called a stencil. We also looked at the computer system, which is used by almost everyone in all sectors, used for typing, it's used for communication, it's used for learning, watching movies, playing educational games, storing documents, saving documents, storing information, retrieving information, and so many others. We also looked at the scanning machine or the scanner that is connected to the computer system. It is used to send, it is used to send the exact copy of a document into the computer. We also talked about the perforator, which we can also call the a hole punching machine used to create two holes on a document for filing. We also talked about the stapling machine or the stapler. We have them in different sizes, but it's majorly used to hold pieces of papers together using the staple pin. We also have the calculator for carrying out arithmetic um, activities, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and so many others. We have the filing cabinet that is used in storing our files. It helps to make our office more organized and neat. It prevents us from scattering files on the floor, tables, and everywhere. And we looked at different types of filing, alphabetic filing, numeric filing, um, geographical filing, departmental filing, and so on. We also looked at the shredder that is used to destroy documents into tiny pieces that cannot be brought together. I so said this is basically used to destroy confidential documents that you don't want any other person to see. I also mentioned the star stationery. As simple as our stationery are, they are all under what? Office equipment because they are used to do one thing or the other. So this is how far we can go into this class. But before we end the class, let's take some few questions relating to what we have learned. The first question I have here says, the following are importance of office equipment, except that it, remember we looked at importance of office equipment. A, it increases productivity. B, it reduces stress. C, saves time. D, makes human beings to be more efficient. E, decreases productivity. Looking at all our options here, Increases productivity is an importance. Office equipment reduces stress. It saves time. It makes us to be more efficient. But the odd one out here is it decreases productivity. Office equipment does not decrease productivity. Instead, it increases and enhances our productivity. So our answer is E. The next.
The next question says, which of the following machines can be used to produce the exact copy of a document? Which of the following machines can be used to produce the exact copy of a document? We have the stencil, we have the computer, we have the duplicator, we have the typewriter, we have the photocopier. The answer is photocopier. It's a machine that is used to produce the exact copy of a document on another piece of paper. The next question says, which of the following is not a part of the computer? We identify the computer as one major office equipment. So which of this is not a part of a computer? We have the speaker, we have the central processing unit, we have the monitor, knob, and mouse. We are all conversant with our computer system. The speaker is a part of a computer. The central processing unit or the system unit is a major part of the computer. The monitor is a major part of the computer. The mouse is a major part of the computer. The odd one out here is knob. So the knob is not a part of the computer. It's a part of a type writer. So let's still look at another question. The next question says, an electronic device that is used to accept, process, analyze data in accordance with the prescribed instructions is known as DASH. We have the photocopier as option A. We have scanner, option B. Option C, typewriter. Option D, perforator. Option E, computer. Looking at the options very well, what do you think the answer should be? Our answer is option E, computer. We define the computer system as an electronic machine that accepts, process, analyzes data, turns it into information, and it can be retrieved anytime it is needed. So the computer is the answer. The next question says, office equipment that is used for making punches and holes on paper is called dash. A, calculate. B, the stapler. C, the shredder. D, computer. E, the perforator. If you could remember well, let's have a recall. One of the machines we looked at is a machine I call the hole punching machine and that machine is the perforator. The perforator is referred to as a hole punching machine. It is used to punch and create holes on documents. So the answer here is the perforator. Let's take the last question. It says a shredding machine is used for dash. We identified the shredder as one of the office equipment. A, making special designs on papers. B, destroying papers that are no longer useful. C, joining torn documents. D, clipping collated documents. E, photocopying documents. The answer is B, destroying papers that are no longer useful. So the shredding machine is used for destroying papers into tiny pieces. Papers that are no longer useful. So the answer here is option B, destroying papers that are no longer useful. So I believe with this you have learned so much about the office equipment, what it is used for, how it can be used, and you should be able to identify different office equipment. See you in the next class. Remember, you are destined to succeed. Bye.